So guys, the movie's called Fix. Uh, tell me a little bit about it. Uh, the subject matter is uh, very interesting. Um, drug addiction and uh, dealing with uh, substance abuse within the family. What do you think the film says about those, those uh, topics? I think um, what a lot of people seem to get from it is that you can't fix anyone. And one of the hardest things about being a family member of an addict is that you feel like you can change them, that you, you think you can fix them. And of course, what everyone learns is that everyone has to make that choice for themselves. It must have been a, a lot of work going on, right? You're doing uh, house and then you're also doing this. Uh, what was that like, uh, working on two projects at the same time? It was a lot of fun. I mean, I'm really lucky that I was married to the director, because any other director would have fired me and given the role to any of the tons of actresses who would have leapt at the chance to play this character. It was such a great role. So it was great. It was I was really grateful that they bent over backwards for me. Um, I was tired, but luckily the character was supposed to be tired, so I think it really helped my performance. <laughs> I really trust Tao, and I really uh, feel comfortable with his aesthetic vision, and I was really kind of on the same page as him about what the film should be, then it, it was kind of relaxing because I knew I could try anything and be totally liberated with improvisation, with any sort of choice, and feel completely unselfconscious and free because I knew, you know, he would fix it in editing. <laughs> <laughs> For the viewers out there who haven't seen it yet, uh, can you describe the film a little bit and what they should expect going in to see it? Uh, they should expect a wild ride through uh, worlds of L.A. that they've never seen before. Sean plays my brother, uh, who we have to rescue and take out of uh, uh, jail in Calabasas and bring to rehab by 8 p.m. where he's going to go to prison for, for uh, three years. And I think that the, the interesting thing, hopefully, that we conveyed is also that we're there to save him, quote unquote, but in fact he ends up teaching us more than, you know, than we teach him. So I think that it tries to deal with the subject of addiction without too much judgment, because I think that's often uh, mm -hmm. a problem in those interactions. Now, Sean, what was that like uh, working with um, a couple? Was it, was it like, were you kind of like the uh, surrogate child there, or what was that like going on? It seems like you guys have like a familial bond. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely a dysfunctional uh, child. <laughs> <laughs> they work so well together. They're on such shorthand, and uh, I think she brings out the best in him, and he brings out the best in her, and I liked it. It was, the, to me, the most exciting film experience I had. And I think they're just both so incredibly talented in very different ways. And I think uh, I was really lucky to, you know, because in a sense, you know, they, they both were like the voice of the film and uh, so invested in it. What has the general uh, reception been? I mean, I've been hearing a lot of buzz about this, and it seems like uh, you guys have won awards at festivals. And uh, what has it been like so far? It's been fabulous. We've done 35 film festivals. We've had uh, um, 14 awards at those festivals, including Best Actor Awards, Best Feature Film Awards, all sorts of stuff. And so, uh, but anyway, now it's coming out in the theaters. Hopefully, people will go see it here in New York. And if that goes well, or when that goes well, it's going to spread to the rest of the country, and then coming out on DVD in uh, February. So, I hope that your viewers enjoy it. <laughs> very nice, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Today, we have driven a stolen car, sold a stolen car, and let a convicted felon buy it.